Alright, the evil gray text. Who keeps making snarky comments about other subjects. It's apparently made a Thomas Jefferson video. Entitled it, Thomas Jefferson, a true romantic. As if that's the argument being made. But let's again, just, just to add to the story, Jefferson didn't remarry. So let's understand that. He didn't get some, you know, beard wife or something. And, uh, you know... Um, so, you know, you want to say you can't give this guy, you can't imagine it being possible. And, and again, these people are convicting a guy of rape. They're not convicting a guy of bad breath um, or smelly feet. They're convicting him of rape. And it's the evidence is that there isn't even, even any, anything close to anything called physical evidence of rape. So they don't have like a rape kit or they don't have a bruise or they don't have... They don't have anything indicating force, and all the circumstantial evidence indicates something else, some other kind of relationship. I mean, whether he was a great lover or not, I'm not arguing he was a great lover. I'm not arguing he was a romantic human being. I'm not arguing any of that crap. I'm just saying what seems kind of obvious is that it wasn't... Um, uh, he obviously just didn't go around doing this all the time. And so you want to you want to cl make claims against this individual. You want to slander him, and that's all you're doing. You slander a dead man. It's an easy target. It's about the only thing you can handle, right? Great text. You probably have to handle women in the unconscious state too. That's probably why this is all imaginable to you. Is you'd probably have sex with an unconscious woman. Because <sighs> you're just a taker and a petty weasel to boot. So let's hear his brain argument. I'm, I'm not an American, so. I don't know the truth about Thomas Jefferson. Oh, good. Everybody in America knows. So, you know, it's not my place to speculate. You know, I haven't been through the American educational system, so I don't know the accurate history. Uh, oh, I'm sure that your history that you're taught in your schools is just so much better than our history. That you're not told any lies about the British Empire or what your kings and queens were doing. I'm sure it's all just truth everywhere. And us dumb Americans, well, yeah, we can't tell history, right? No how. Yeah, right. I'm, I, you know, what is this crap? This is crap, right? You're just playing a stupid game here? Oh, yeah, that's what you're doing. You're playing a stupid game. Yeah, that's right. There's probably a whole big pile of lies, all right, about every figure in... We don't even have to go back that far. They're already lying about Ronald Reagan, for Christ's sakes, and we have videotape of him. But didn't he own slaves? Didn't he own people? Uh, and I'm finding out now that he had sexual relationships with his people. You know, it's so uh, with one, yeah. So again, so you, all right. So you're going to retell the story, and you're going to retell it inaccurately. So you're saying he had sexual relations with his people. Number one, that hasn't even been proven. Okay, he did have a brother. Okay, who did hang out um, at Jefferson's home. So you know, there it, it, there could be some other story here. I'm not saying that's true. I'm just saying there could be another story here. And, you know, his, you know, the woman was three quarters white. You're going to pretend that she got three quarters white through some other magic than having her, her relatives having sex with white men? Ah, oh, please. Leaves his property. Um, now, okay. yes, he created slavery, and it was all his fault that he didn't sit there and get assassinated trying to end slavery. Right. Okay, that was what he should have done. He should have gotten assassinated instead of trying and as a, and 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 got uh, pilloried and then um, tarred and feathered and dropped in the ocean. He should have done that instead of being writing the Declaration of Independence and creating the United States of America. Oh yeah. Get me wrong. I have sex with my property all the time, but my property isn't sentient in terms of feelings and stuff. All right, and the British Empire didn't didn't brutalize people all over the world as their colonists and force them into horrid 
uh, prison-like circumstances of war camps. You Britishers, you're Great Britainer types, never committed any crimes whatsoever, and it never took you way too long to correct any of those things. And everybody who participated in those things at the time, you have their posters on the wall somewhere, and you spit on them every day. Okay, because every one of them is a fucking criminal. Every man who is in an arranged marriage is a fucking rapist. I mean, let's take this to some idiotic, preposterous extreme because you people are all so fucking petty. You're saying, hey, we've got we've got an mendum on the on the pillory of calling him insensitive to rape. So let's all beat the fuck out of Thomas Jefferson to get to in mendum. I mean, this has gotten this is just so fucking idiotic. And you're you're assassinating Thomas Jefferson's character so you can call me a rape apologist. I mean, fucking amazing. You know, um, so it's it's not as if I'm saying having sex with your property is entirely bad, but. If your property... Who the fuck is defending slavery in this conversation? Will you point me to the person defending slavery in this conversation, please? What the fuck are you talking about, you insane, flabby fuckhead? God, you fat people are just so annoying. Has a will, you know, a mind, a sentience. I would consider having sex with the abuse of that power. You know, just like having sex with a child or your child would be an abuse of the power you have in that relationship. Well, let's talk about where the relationship apparently started, which is France, where she was actually a free person. She could have just walked out of wherever they were staying and he couldn't have reclaimed her. That's the fact. So obviously there was some promissory type statements made between them, some sort of arrangement, some sort of something that he felt confident he could take this particular slave to France and she wasn't just going to run away and say, fuck you. Um, I'm not likening, you know, slaves to children as in they are so helpless, even though, you know, technically they are. Legally, they, they have to. Yeah, right. Every woman in fucking American society back then was pretty fucking helpless, right? They all, they couldn't put any fucking, uh, you know, they couldn't have, put, put an ad on the internet uh, saying, I'm looking for a decent man to have a relationship with. I mean, even now in our modern society, it's pretty fucking hard for people to work out this relationship thing. Um, but certainly back then, women had a huge disadvantage, all right? They couldn't even own property. They were completely dependent on men to survive. And that's just a fucking fact of reality. So, yes, the entire culture, including your fucking culture, including the people in your fucking country, were rapist motherfuckers. So is there. Now, have we solved the problem now? Let's call everybody a rapist, and then we won't even be able to tell who's a rapist now because everybody in history was a rapist. So Every man pre-1922 uh, was a fucking rapist, and so now we can't tell who's a rapist anymore because everybody was a rapist. I mean, this is just stupid. You people are ignorant, stupid, motherfucking bastards for playing with this word like this. You fucking suck. Go to hell and such. They obey their masters. You know, I mean, they can disobey, and then legally the masters can punish them. And there's no law that protects the slave. Yeah, and there's no law that was protecting the fucking plantation debutante queen from the fact that her father was likely going to sell her off to some other plantation owner. Okay? Uh, and sell her off in terms of some sort of, like, hey, there's a great negotiation deal we can make here. We can connect our two families. We can double our industry. You know, some sort of bullshit like that. And did she have any fucking choice? Did she have any capacity to go out on the street and find a living? No. So she just basically had to do whatever daddy said. From the punishment of the master, and somebody is born into slavery... Their parents were slaves, their grandparents were slaves, slaves all around them, watching them getting beaten and whipped and tortured, killed, starved, raped, whatever. You know, perhaps some thought enters into their mind, 
I'd best just fucking say yes and try and... Well, uh, yeah, yeah, and again, that's, that's fine. If you want to say that's how it happened, fine. You have some sort of crystal fat... Oh, crystal fat. Is that what you got? Crystal fat. And you can see what the fuck happened and what the relationship was based on. You have that special crystal fat to be able to do that. As I understand some of these stories, uh, Jefferson actually wanted to take the older nanny woman. Okay. But uh, she was too old and feeble. And that's why he ended up taking the, 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 the younger one to France. So... Uh, you know, I mean, look, these are little, look, there's a 300 year old crime. You want to, you want to prosecute it. You want to, you want to sit there and you are going to tell us what Thomas Jefferson said, what he did. You're telling us what his character was. He was some skneeving, skyming, little wheeling, dealing motherfucker. You don't have any evidence of that in any other aspect of his life. No evidence of character failures in any other part of his life. But you're going to crucify him anyway. Why? Because you're a fat, flabby, useless hunk of fucking goddamn shit. And you're the modern man. The modern man with no integrity, no decency, no give a damn about something like, oh, I'm going to prove what I'm going to say for a change. No, I'm just going to say it because you're a flabby, fat, useless piece of shit. A stupid, ignorant fucking more on. Get away with whatever I can get away with and try and keep myself quiet and unnoticed so that nothing goes wrong and nothing happens to me. Maybe that's the best a slave in their mind can get in life. <clears throat> um, I guess this is part of the problem is, is these are, this is all coming from people who have, you know, so little going for them that they can't even imagine a woman wanting them. So they can only imagine relationships where they have to somehow sneak a woman into them. You know, somehow coerce her into a deal. Because they're so unappealing that no woman in her sane mind or undrunk mind or unpoor mind or un somehow kind of crappy circumstance mind would find it at all appealing to say, yeah, I'll go hang out with that asshole. Maybe that's why they don't get it, that this relationship could be based on something else, like the fact that Thomas Jefferson had about everything going for him. And I, this all started because I made a joke. I made a joke saying something like, who wouldn't want to be fucked by Thomas Jefferson? And you know what? I still stand by it. I mean, if Thomas Jefferson knocked on my door and said, I need some place to stick my dick, I might let him in. Okay. I just might, because god damn it, it's Thomas Jefferson for fuck's sake. Uh, and, you know, <clears throat> under such circumstances, given the psychology of the slave, um, and given the legality of the, the situation. And given the fact that Thomas Jefferson was like rich, famous, uh, hero, uh, just about as cool a dude as you could fucking goddamn be. Like the one of the top 100 human beings on earth, right next to Madonna of the time, whoever Madonna of the time was, Thomas Jefferson was standing right the fuck next to her. But let's forget about that shit. No, that doesn't have anything to do with this story. No, 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 no. Can you really say that? Can, can we really... Are you, like Thomas Jefferson, if he wanted to, couldn't have slept with, like, the Queen of France. Well, there was no queen then. But, like, he couldn't have had whoever the fuck he wanted. He couldn't get any, so he had to go to the slave hole to go find himself a bitch. Is that your theory, fuckhead? Thomas Jefferson couldn't get any, so he had to go to the slave quarters and drag out the bitches? Oh, Christ say that any speculation that a master and a slave are in love is in any way a legitimate speculation. Okay, they're, they're all in it there. That's just, okay, so you can't possibly speculate on the fact that a three-quarters white slave and the master could possibly have a romantic relationship. That's insane speculation. I should be fucking pilloried, tarred and feathered, and thrown in the goddamn ocean because I think that's fucking possible. I think it's ludicrously possible when the man happens to be rich, famous, and a fucking goddamn international hero. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fucking possible. Fuck you. You're a slandering, flabby, fat pig. 
God, wallow in your lies and deception and nonsense, you sick, petty fuck.